Texas Deacon here. Thank you for joining me. Good to have every one of you. God bless. You're probably watching me on the Lone Star 1776 Rudy channel. Thank, I thank Rudy every day for carrying me on his channel. That's where I get most of my viewers. Be advised, I also have my own channel, the Texas Deacon, of course. But without Rudy and what he has done for me, I would not be on the web. He's a good man. The title for this lesson is The Christian Survivalist, Part 3, Repackaging Commercial Foods, as you can see right here. I have a, a scripture for you to read. I want you to read 2 Kings chapter 6, verses 26 through 30. Also, go online and learn about the 1972 crash of a commercial airliner in the Andes Mountains in South America. Both of those will be very eye-opening if you haven't already done it, although I have mentioned them in my other lessons. In my lessons, uh, I am targeting those who only have the ability to buy two or three cans of food to put back for the rainy day or the disaster or whenever it's needed. But if you have uncommitted money uh, to spend on, on this project, well then God bless you. Scripture, I've got to read a couple of scriptures. I've read these before. We're going to read them again in case you haven't uh, seen any of my programs. The first one is 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 8. But if anyone does not provide for his own, and especially his own household, and, and and his own household will always include his father and his mother. He has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. I uh, was going to double check it. I think the King James Version, this is New King James, it says infidels that are worse than infidel. I'm going to read it again. But if anyone does not provide for his own, and especially for those of his own household, he has denied the faith, and it's worse than an unbeliever. I have a second scripture. It is 2 Thessalonians 3.10. For even when we were with you, we commanded you this, if anyone will not work, neither shall he eat. These are the words of God spoken through Paul the Apostle. So if you don't like it, get angry with God. And those that won't work, work don't eat, I believe that also can apply to those that know the problem, the disaster, the whatever you want to call it, is coming and do nothing to prepare for it. And that day, those just don't eat. Why repackage? That's a question. Originally, the, um, packaging is not designed for a long life. In fact, when I went to get a pack of beans like this for to use as a prop in this program, I picked up a pack that was sitting on top of this one, and beans started pouring out. It had to be ripped, so I had to get another one. They're not designed to keep out air. They're not designed to keep out moisture. Nor are they designed to keep out bugs, rats, mice. When I get ready to eat my food someday, I don't like the thought of having to go through and pick out the rat droppings before I eat it. Don't think that's going to be too good at all. Here are the containers that I'm presenting today. They're just ordinary glass canning jars that I purchased for this program, although I have plenty of other jars. I chose to get six in match. Any glass container with a metal lid will work, okay? Any. Now, ammo containers. And I just happen to have one right here. 
These are very good containers for storing things because they, they have a perfect seal and buy what you want to, drop it in. No moisture gets in there, no bugs get in there. No rats get in there. It will be just like, like that when you choose to open it. Barrels are another type of container that is very good. Some barrels, the kind that have a removable lid and a ring that holds it in place, are also airtight because food is shipped in these barrels. And if you get those food shipping barrels, then you can put anything in them that you want to. I'd recommend a good place to store your dog food. And I used to advise people that when you see disaster coming, go get 10 bags of dog food. Now, if anyone's there said, well, I don't have a dog, I would say, I know that. If you had a dog, I'd recommend get 20 bags. Because after you read what I told, suggested that you read, you'll see that you would eat dog food because you're no different than those people you're going to read about. Another good container that I don't have right now and I'll get when, when I can is gallon wine jugs. They're glass. They have a small uh, metal cap on top. And also, too, get the box that holds the four gallons if you can, and you can get them you have behind any, any liquor store. And any of these products here will go in there and then you have a box to keep them. Because they are glass and they will break if you bang them together. This happens to be pasta right here. A friend of mine who's been very reliable in the past said that what I've done to this pasta right here, just put it in this jar and seal it, it's good for 25 years. And of course popcorn. There won't be any chips and dips around. We're going to need some kind of snack food. So I suggest stock up on popcorn. Good old rice. This is Hominy Grits. Never knew an old Texas boy that wouldn't wrap his lips around a bowl full of grits. Salt and, of course, pinto beans. And again, the container is there. Used to hold pickles, sliced pickles, glass and metal. It's good. This also used to hold pickles, complete big pickles. Now I put this together four, five, six years ago. I lose track of time. And I buried it back in the back of a pantry. And I took it out just for this demonstration. I haven't opened it. No need to now. It looks just like it did today. I put it in there. And again, Glass with a metal lid. How about one serving? Hey. You will have to put together your own emergency food supply based upon your choice and your budget. Don't wait in starting this project, please. You just may wait too long. Your next trip to the supermarket is a good time to begin. You give my words some serious thought. You can't go wrong. Even if I turn out to be totally wrong, you can still eat it later on and eat it more cheaply than you could if you had about a year or two or three from now. Okay? May God bless America. May God bless the Republic of Texas. And may God bless you and yours.